Hey guys, I'm here in my garage today working on a project. I am building some new ASF uh, enclosures and I thought I'd just kind of show you exactly what I'm doing here. Uh, you can see I'm in my messy garage. I use my garage so much, it's hard to keep this place clean. I've pretty much given up on it. But let me show you what I'm, what I'm working with here. All right, so I am working with some Freedom Breeder tubs here. And these tubs, I'll put the link in the description exactly where, where I got them. I can't remember the model, but these tubs are basically the best tubs that I could find anywhere. Um, they, they're very, they're pretty tall. They're very strong and they're not too big. So I'll be able to fit three colonies on just this one level. Now I do a lot of working, woodworking, but you don't have to know a lot in order to do this project. I'm not gonna show you everything that I do to build this thing, but I will show you all of the parts to it. So if you wanna build this yourself, you can do it as well. guys I've got the frame done for my rack now all I need to do is to put the quarter inch mesh on top and then we can build out the sliders for our tubs let's get on to it <laughs>
right, so I've got this uh, part completely finished. My next task is to build spacers and rails for the tubs to slide on. You'll see what I mean when I'm finished, but I think it's looking pretty good. Okay, so I've got uh, everything ripped up from the table saw. These are my spacers. They are three quarters of an inch by three quarters of an inch. And then I've got my rails, three quarters of an inch. This is inch and five eighths. This is inch and a quarter. I'll show you what I'm gonna do here. First of all, I'm gonna attach my spacers. So I'm going to attach my spacers and then I'm going to attach my rails and that will give that will give the tub something to slide on. So let's get to it. Uh, I've got it pretty much put together. I need to go attach it to the legs, but I'll show you what I've done here. Okay, so I've got the Freedom Breeder tubs. There we go. I've got the Freedom Breeder tubs, and as you can see, each Freedom Breeder tub, each rail, has a three quarter inch. has a three-quarter inch spacer and then a rail. Three-quarter inch spacer, then a rail. Three-quarter inch spacer, then a rail. Now, you don't have to use the Freedom Breeder tubs. You can use this idea. The dimensions might be different. You can use this idea with any tubs that are built for rodent breeding. So Reptile Basics. I like the Freedom Breeder tubs. They're pretty inexpensive. They're, they're like $9 a piece. And so what will happen is each tub will get a water bottle and food. And I just have to attach it to the legs and it's ready to go. So as you can see, this is the latest level that I'm adding to my rat rack. And this is specifically for my ASFs. Eventually when I get this thing filled up to the top, I will install a, an irrigation line and do just a big bucket of water. For now, I've got the uh, individual bottles of water for each, uh, each tub, but it's not eventually what I'm going to have. And uh, so these little guys, these grow outs are males. These are all males. And hey little buddy, hey. They are so sweet. You still have to be careful of them, but um, they're not as bad. Like, males tend to be a little better than the females. Here are some females. If you guys want, I can do a tour of my rat breeding operation here and why I have it set up the way that I do. 
So I'll go ahead and do that in another video. Hey mama, having some babies. This is a maternity tub. So these two tubs will go in here and uh, as I get more and more breeders ready to go, I'll build more and more levels. So yeah, that's how you build one of these, um, that's how you build one of these racks with the Freedom Breeder tubs. I will put some dimensions in chat so you can see exactly what I'm working with. Thanks guys, you guys have a great day.